Uh, this was your pickup. Um, I didn't even know Arnold was uh, doing a press conference or whatever from this uh, the mudslide. Oh, yeah. Anytime Arnold's out, uh, i got to check it out. Saw it on the news. Figured, let's hear it. Because you, you, don't, you don't really get to hear Arnold being governor. Maybe in California you do. But around the rest of the country, we kind of heard his campaign and everything. And then nothing. He gave a state of the state um, address. State just, of the uh, union? No, state of oh, the state. state. That's state of the state. Because he's only the governor. Uh, right, right. Ah, and I didn't even hear it. I would have loved to have heard him saying stuff like California. But the state of California is larger than uh, a lot of countries. Yeah. Uh, so this is He audio. grunts and groans his way through this. And uh, he the first question he's given, he's got to pass off to a fireman or something. Because he's... He he's an actor. He doesn't know Come anything. On. I am going to increase the budget of the transit I, in this. Uh, shut up. And you know, everyone's pushing for him to be president. They want to change the amendment and, and all that. But just because he's a movie star. Right. If he was just some guy, Arnold Schwarzenegger from Nazi Germany, wherever he came from. Yes. Austria. <laughs> yeah, Austria. He, you think we'd be clamoring? Oh, this guy ought to be president. You'd be like, he's governor. Throw him out of the country. But we love his movies. Love the action movies. He'd actually run under the presidential platform if Kurt Waldheim was a moderate. <laughs> wow. Ah, lovely. All right, here's Arnold. here's Arnold. In the past few days, we have seen the power of nature I... cause damage and despair. But we will match that power I... uh, with our own resolve. Like I match... And we will come together as Californians I... and as neighbors. <laughs> So thank you very much. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to uh, ask. I don't know all the details. I just got here. I just wanted to see it myself. It's very important as governor to see, um, you know, the damage so that you can coordinate and work as quickly as possible because the key thing here is quick response. I also want to declare a state of emergency for uh, Ventura County. I... So thank you very much, and any questions, please. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. <laughs> I want them answered immediately. I, uh, state of emergency. You know, I remember when I was Douglas Quaid in Total Recall. That was state of emergency when I hit the button with the three-finger thing that Twato told me to hit. Twato. Why did I say Twato? <laughs> I, and then my head, my eyeballs were bugging out, but then they went back in, and it looked like a big landslide of smoke. And air that filled up the atmosphere. So I know exactly what these people are going through. When I was uh, a determinator, you know, the power that I had is like the power of the landslide to ruin houses <laughs> and kill families. You know, but instead of me knocking on your door going, Sarah Connor here, it's a lot of mud knocking <laughs> on your door, taking your children. So I understand as the governor. <laughs> this guy is just a movie star who really... I don't think is equipped for disasters like this. He doesn't know how to handle that. And they're asking him all these awkward questions like, uh, has he comforted the families? What's he going to do? Come here. Yeah, he big arm around him. Yeah, let me, let me pose for you. Ah! Would you like some picture of Arnold? I'll sign it for you. Maybe that will, you know, ease your pain of losing your wife and three children. You know, I... I I lost a lot of people in the movie when I was Ben Riches in The Running Man. I knew a lot of people that died, and I got over it. You should too. Ah, it, you know it happens, movie to movie. <laughs> <laughs> what? He doesn't. He's not set up for this. Uh, at what point does the government have a responsibility not to let people live in a known mudslide area, or is it up to the individual homeowner to? That's not a bad question. Um, That's asking where does the government's responsibility end and, and your responsibility as a human being who's living on the side of a mountain. The responsibility should be simple. You live here. This could happen. Right. Your choice. I saw some woman on the news uh, yesterday saying they promised they were going to tear off the mountain. You know, get those railroad ties or something and, and oh, like that make it steps. They yeah. do that in oh, snow okay, areas. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right, I got it. They do that and make a bunch of steps I going down one the wall of Yeah, uh, one wall. That was going to take care of the problem, sure. And uh, this woman's asking that. And, and the truth of the matter is, whatever they promised, whatever, why would you move there until they do that? It could happen at any time. These mountains can come down. 
And Arnold is just standing there talking to her like, yeah, tragic, ah, that's terrible, terrible thing that happened. What could he say to her? You know, it wasn't me that promised. I there is something honest about him that I like, though. Like, as far as he's not a polished politician. He's not a polished politician, but I think that kind of works against him sometimes because he doesn't know what to react in these situations. But these these guys would have a scumbag, polished, dishonest answer. Well, they were fine. They, were, you know, they would give the right quote for right, the paper, right. but it would be disingenuous anyway. True. Well, let's see what he says. I would I, just go, uh, look, I don't live here. It's not my problem. Good morning. Good morning, Arnold. The governor gets you. Call me. But, oh, I am the governor. Wait a minute. I'm Detective John Kimball. <laughs> um, well, first of all, I was told that the residents knew that it was not a, uh, the safest area. I blame especially them. Especially since the, the, uh, the 1995 incident. And, um, but I think that uh, it is very important that we always let the residents know. What? And um, I think there's a whole history here, and that maybe uh, Fire Chief, that you maybe want to address that. Maybe Fire second. Chief doesn't know his name. Uh, guy in fire hat. Right now, the beauty <laughs> of California, we have oceans that cause wave issues on homes, earthquake faults, rivers, Stop whining. and the mountains. Stop whining. It's part of the beauty of the state of California. Shut up. Shut up. And I don't believe Shut that up. there's a way that to really prevent people like from invoking their private property rights like and discipline. living where they want to. It's part of the system Stop whining. here in California and across the state. Stop whining. Um, and I think that's quiet. Builds part of the ambiance, quiet. the environment that we live in. Uh, it's just part of living here in the California. Hi. Governor, did you talk with uh, any of the residents here who lost a loved one across the hall? Did you console the loved ones? I talked to several of the residents here and I met with them just earlier I... because I wanted to hear from them of what their concerns are. We obviously know that they are uh, going through some very painful period here. I like me. And some of them have lost, uh, you know, family and uh, relatives, friends. And it's terrible. And my uh, condolences goes out to them and their families and friends. Did he have to say I, relatives and families? Relatives, families, people they are related to, <laughs> uh, brothers, sisters, fathers. You know, I understand when I was Major Dutch Schaefer in Predator, I had a lot of pain. There was many things that went in my body. Predator came out, pinned my neck to the, uh, to the log. Remember that? That was painful for me, so I can relate to these people. I, I, I feel your, your pain. I toured the area in a helicopter with no weapons. Why would they send me under? I could have shot the dirt mount. <laughs> this guy is an action hero. He's an action hero. And there he was on the news. And people are asking him questions about a real live disaster, but he's a movie guy, and he's supposed to fix it. But he's a movie guy that fixes things. I, I, I'm stunned. It's that whole crossover between f reality and fantasy that that is going on. Well, what what well, Reagan became governor of California? What did he do before then? Was he involved politically before then? Yeah, he was always involved politically with something, even though and and he wasn't near the caliber of star that Arnold was. Well, it was I mean, saying it wasn't his first public office though, right? No, he had, he. Had, I think he was president of the Screen Actors yeah, Guild yeah, he or something. Was. So he was always politically involved yeah. with things, and he kind of left acting at a younger age. You know what I mean? It, it wasn't like he went from acting to being the governor. Right. You know, kind of got into it. This guy, I mean, you know, stepping right off the sets in the middle of acting. Right. Yeah, in the middle of acting, and uh, there he is. You know, he's. It's just odd to watch. It kind of, it, it it makes the news. Less news-like when you watch it about the mudslide. It's like, what is this movie? What's this Arnold movie? Chris from New Orleans. New Orleans. What's up, Chris? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. What's up? What's going on? Hi, Chris from New Orleans. We're hoping to get down there for Mardi Gras if we can get our airfare done think before we're, February. I think we're going to book that today. Oh, Cotton. Look, look out, New Orleans. We're coming to Mardi Gras. What? They let you drink here in the airport. Right here in the, in the airport. airport. <laughs> Hurricanes. <laughs> Hey, I just want to know if Arnold cheered up the mudslide victims by covering himself in mud and reciting lines from Predator. <laughs> One lucky thing for the family is that Predator will never find them because they're covered in mud. And as we all know, the Predator cannot find you 
If you are covered in mud, you bastard, that's such a good joke. Oh, man, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. You had the log before, too? I, I didn't even realize they were covered in mud. That is perfect, you genius. <laughs> ah, Maybe I could be Mr. Freeze and I could have froze the mud before it hit the uh, the houses. They would have gone, why is the mud not in the, uh, destroying a house? And I could say, because me, Mr. Freeze, I froze it uh, coming down the mountain. Thank your governor. Governor. Oh. Did he say that? Uh, he, he has said it. The press called him that or Oof. called him that when he was running. It was everything. I will terminate the tax burden on. Oh, you're not terminating anything. You're a real guy. Can uh, we play one of our favorite things? Uh. A little piece? Of course. I've been dreaming of going to Mars Where mutants drive plastic cars So I go there, you know the rest The best part was the girl with three breasts Total re Dylan. So I'm on Mars and I meet Quetta and I pull this big metallic thing out of my nose. It makes me scream and shout and move my big robotic head all about. The party figure Favorite things. What? Jenny, Jenny, 